What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Tuesday and on Tuesday I show you some of the cool stuff that I sold as an online reseller. Stuff that I bought at thrift stores and garage sales and flipped online for a profit. Now unfortunately it's been kind of a rough week. I haven't had the chance to list a lot. It's been pretty slow and not only that I lost like half the footage I was going to show you. What do you do when life hands you lemons? Well you just make lemonade. Copper golf clubs are definitely something to be on the lookout for. They don't make them anymore. There was apparently something toxic about the manufacturing process. So they become pretty collectible. I actually paid up for this club. Paid about $35, $40 from Play It Again Sports, but it's a Ping Zing 2 Lob Wedge. It's one of the more rare copper clubs. Like I said, I paid $35, $40 for it, and it sold for $95. So pretty good profit from Play It Again Sports, and definitely be on the lookout for copper clubs. So I sold a jacket. This is a vintage Warner Brothers like Letterman jacket. It's made of suede, got some spots on it, some fading, not in great condition. It does have like this cool big patch on the back. Really cool jacket. Paid $20 for it at a thrift store. I've kind of paid up a little bit, but it sold for $110. Also, right now I'm kind of reminded of this scene. Bad guy in a little coat. Bad guy in a little gold. Sold a router. This is a Netgear N750 Wi-Fi dual band gigabit router. Honestly, I did not look this up when I got it from a garage sale because they only wanted $3 for it. I couldn't turn that down for a router that's new, in package, and sealed. Like I said, paid $3 for it and it sold in a day for $89.99. Callaway X Hot Driver. Definitely something to be on the lookout for. Picked this one up from a garage sale. It was in a bundle of clubs that I bought. Paid about $7 for it. And it sold in two days for $100. Sold a set of wedges. This is a set of Wilson Staff TW5 wedges. Got the sand wedge, gap wedge, and lob wedge. If I've got a set like this that's the same manufacturer and model, I do like to lot them together. It seems to sell a little faster for me. I've got about $20 into this set, and it sold for $105 in about two days. Danny. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Thank you very little. So my wife actually found this at a garage sale. She knows to be on the lookout for this Apple logo, so she picked it up, brought it over, and yeah, it's a fourth generation Apple TV. Paid $5 for it at a garage sale, brought it home, it tested it, and worked great. Like I said, paid $5 for it, and it sold for $74 within a day. It's actually going through the global shipping program. Buyers all in like $97. Sold some Turner cartridges, and I will not mess with these unless I'm 100% certain that they're sealed. And they had this little hologram on the corner here. Paid $5 a piece from a garage sale. And one sold for $64.50, and one sold for $64.99. Not sure why the price difference, but... Either way, they both sold in a day. I know more golf clubs, but this is a set that you need to know. This is made by USKG or US Kids Golf. It's the TS3 Launch version 10. I'm actually missing the putter and the three wood or the five wood. I can't remember. That's the five wood there. So I'm missing the three wood. Paid $35 for this set, partial set. And it still sold for $2.25. actually sold in about a day too. These things are really popular and they sell super quick. If you're curious how I'm shipping these clubs, it's actually not hard at all. Just put a piece of bubble wrap on each club, except for the one with the head cover on it. Don't really need one on there. And then I'll actually take it and put some bubble wrap around it. And then it's actually going to slide into a 10 by 10 by 48 box. I'll cut it down for height and it really won't cost me that much to ship. Just to show you, those clubs weighed 11 pounds, 14 ounces, 11 by 11 by 41, and USPS would cost me 57.56. If we go down here to UPS Ground, it's actually only going to cost me $18.24. I probably will add insurance to it. Also, if you don't have a local supplier for these boxes like I do, you can actually hit up your local U-Haul store. 
this size they call a lamp box it's a 10 by 10 by 48 they also have a sport utility box if you have a bigger set of clubs going out that's a 12 by 12 by 48 so yeah pretty simple actually couple of shirts going out this is a Jamaica like national soccer team jersey it's not Adidas or Nike or any famous brand probably a knockoff they only paid two dollars for it and it sold for $19.95 and then this is a foot joy polo shirt definitely want to be on the lookout for foot joy but you want to look for ones that don't have a logo or if they do have a logo you want it to be like a well-known golf course like uh, Augusta National or Pinehurst or Pebble Beach something like that it actually brings up the value a little bit this one is actually a Prodri Lyle. It's like a uh, special Foot Joy shirt. Not real sure, but that also brings up the value a little bit. Paid three dollars for it, and it sold for twenty six fifty. Sold a model. Uh, not that. Get your head out of the gutter. One of these. This is a nineteen fifty Chevrolet thirty one hundred Snap Fast Plus. Apparently, it's a beginner model. It's actually new and sealed in the package, sold at a garage sale. They only wanted two bucks for it. Figured I'd try it out, and sure enough, it sold in a couple of weeks for $32.50. So this is a set of older clubs and not something that I'm typically on the lookout for. This is a set of Hogan Edge GCD irons. They were too cheap to pass up. Only paid $10 for the whole set, and it's a deep set, 2-3 pitch and wedge. Like I said, paid $10 for them. I knew it would take a while to sell, and after eight months, I got $89 for them. I don't pick up a lot of Brooks. The market just seems to be oversaturated unless they're like the newest model. But I paid $4 for these probably eight months ago and they finally sold for 28. It's a pair of Brooks Adrenaline GTS. So college football season is in full effect. You can definitely tell. Just sold this Maryland Terrapins like Hawaiian shirt. Got it from Goodwill, paid $4.75. It's made by Tree Fort. Never seen that brand before. Like I said, paid $4.75 for it and it sold within a week for $29.50. Sold a vintage G.I. Joe character. This is the Crimson Guard Commander. Got maybe 50 cent into this thing. Bought a big lot of G.I. Joes from a garage sale and it sold for $15. Kind of an older Callaway driver here, but Callaway always sells. And if you ever see Diablo on a driver, you at least want to look it up. This is a Callaway Diablo Edge driver. Paid about $7 for it. It was in a bundle of clubs that I picked up at a garage sale and it sold for $69.99 in a couple of days. <laughs> 